you're with the camera. So there's no other questions. Let's go ahead and line up like we're going to start our class on the academy, right? We're going to go ahead and start with a level 10 attention stance. We have our feet together, our hands by our side, our back is straight, our eyes right on the camera. We're going to start with a level 10 now. Ready? One, two, three. Boom. Let's go ahead and get a warm up in. I'm going to turn this just a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and warm up. We're going to start on our feet. Remember, watch your space. Make sure if there's a couch or a coffee table or a training partner, that you're not accidentally whacking them in the face. But we're going to start with some jumping jacks. Here we go. Ready? Boom. Dois. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Sete. Oito. Nove. Dez. Awesome job, guys. Feet shoulder width apart. Elbows in. Hands up, protecting my chin. My chin. Let's do some squats. Here we go. Ready? Boom. Boom. Dois, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, sete, ocho, nove, diez. Awesome job, guys. I'm going to turn the camera down a little bit because we're going to fold our arms. We're going to tuck our chins. We're going to squat down nice and low. Watch your space behind you. Roll back, slap the mat, just like that. Awesome job. Let me get everybody started by laying flat on your back, knees up high like mountains, elbows in, hands up protecting my chin. My chin. Let's see who has the strongest belly today. We to see those big bridges, lift those hips up to the sky, back down. Repeat after me nice and loud. Ready? Oh, Dois. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Sete. Oito. Nove. Tres. Awesome job, guys. Let's go ahead and sit up nice and tall, just like this. We're going to put our feet together. We're going to reach that right hand up high in the sky. Say hi, Professor. Hi, Professor. Hi, Tigers. Let's put that right hand down behind us. Left elbow on our left knee. Left hand up, protecting my head. I got to activate my what? Raise your hand if you know what position we're going to right now. Coach E, who do you want to pick today? Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, Scarlett. What is this position? What do we call this? Wait. What's it called? Scarlett, are you going to go? I am. She doesn't know the question. Voices up. Voices up. I'm only talking to Scarlett right now. Scarlett, what do we call this position? Um, open base. Yeah, we're going to do our open base, but right here, we call this a shield, right? Like if a mean bully is picking on Coach Root, she can hide behind that shield. So that no one, not, nobody can hit her head or her belly or her body. We hide behind the shield. Then, like Scarlett said, we're going to do up in base. Everybody say, up in base. Up in base. That's right. Here we go. Kick that right leg up. Pull it all the way underneath you. Up in base. Ready? Up. Up. In our grappling stance. Fold our arms. Tuck our chin. Boom. Oh. Up with that shield right away. Get that shield. You see that shield. Hey, Ready? Professor, we got to keep that shield the whole time. We got to keep that hand. Thanks, Coach. That's a great point. Keep your hand glued to your head. So when I go here, I don't put this hand down. I keep this hand tight to my head here, and then I have my shield the whole time because I never want to let a bully try to hit my head. I'm going to hide behind that shield. Good. Thanks, Coach. Here we go. Ready? Up. Up. Dois. Dois. Ready? Up. Up. Chase. Press. Awesome job, guys. Let's everybody sit up nice and tall. Reach that left hand up high in the sky. Say hi, Coach Roop. Hi, Tigers. There she is, Coach Roop. Left hand down on the mat. Right elbow on the right knee. Right hand up, protect your head. Activate your shield. And we're going to kick the left leg out. Pull it all the way underneath this up and base. Ready. Up. Up. Boom. Boom. Get that shield up right away. Get that shield up right away. Ready. Up. Up. Doors. Doors. Right away, get that shield, get that shield ready. Up, up, trace. Awesome job, guys. All right, here we go. Everybody sitting up nice and tall. I'm gonna switch to the view so I can see everybody. Feet together, hands on your ankles. Let's start flapping those butterfly wings. Who has somewhere they want to go today? Raise your hand, wave at the camera. You know where you want to go. Go, is gonna pick you. Um, 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 who we got? Danny, where are we going? Where are we going? 
You're unmuted. We're going to Miami. Miami. Oh, boy. Here we go. Going to Miami. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. We're going to Miami. Good work, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. All right. Raise your hand if you have someone else you want to go. Raise your hand. Where else do you want to go today? Who else has somewhere they want to go? Let's go. Flap those wings. Sophia, where are we going today, girl? We're going to Mexico. Mexico. Let's go. We're going to Mexico. Flap those wings. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One more. Who else has somewhere they want to go? Somewhere else. Someone else. Who else has somewhere they want to go? Let's see. Coach B. E. So um, Delaware. Gabriel, where are we going? Delaware. Delaware. Oh, my goodness. All right. Here we go. We're going to Delaware. Slap those wings. Slap those wings. Slap those wings. Awesome job, Tigers. All right. I need everybody down on your bellies like a snake. We're going to slither along in the grass till we find somebody who we want to stay at. Here we go. Here we go. Get those bellies stretched out. Coach E is going to pick somebody who has someone they want to scare. Who do we want to pick, Coach? Simone. Who are we going to scare, Simone? You! You're going to scare Professor? Oh, my goodness. That is so mean. I don't know. I'm pretty brave. I think I can probably handle this, but we're going to see. Let's see who can scare Professor. Ready. On the count of three, you're going to get up like a cobra. Hiss as loud as you can. See if you can scare me. But I don't know. I'm pretty brave. Here we go. Ready. One. Two, three. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good job, Is it safe? Tigers. Good job, guys. So you guys scared. scared me. I have to go hide under the coach. All right, who else has somebody they want to scare? Who else has someone? Let's see. Let's see. Ava. Ava. Who are we going to scare, Ava? All right. We're going to scare Ava's mom. She's right by the there she is. Oh. Great, ready. One, two, three. Oh, look how scared she was. Good job, Tigers. Back down, back down, back down. We need to, we have time for one more. Who else has someone they want to scare? Who else knows who they want to scare? Who do we got? Who do we got? Let's see. Let's see. Callum. Who are we scaring, Callum? My brother. Your brother? Where's your brother at? Right next to me. Right here? In the other room. All right. He's in the other room, so we got to be super loud. Here we go. Up like a cobra. Try to scare Colin's brother. Ready? One, two, three. Do we scare him? Did he he's scream? Probably scared. He's probably really scared. I agree. Everybody, attention stance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good oh, job, guys. Up, up, up. I'm going to change this so we can see everybody. Oh, there we go. And... I want to hear who has a favorite animal. I want to hear who has a favorite animal, and we're going to all see how your animal runs, and we're going to see if we can practice some animal drills of everybody's favorite. So, Coach is going to pick somebody who's raising their hand, waving their hand at the camera. Black witches. And... Yay! All right, Scarlett, what's your favorite animal? Cat. A cat? Yeah. Tell me how a cat runs, Scarlett. How does, how does a cat run? <laughs> Gotta see it. What noise does it make? Roof, roof. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see down on our, our hands and our knees. Let's get those cat claws out. We're going to start running like a cat. Make sure you don't run into anybody or anything. And let me give those cat meows. Ready, set, go. And time, attention, sit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Raise your hand. Who else has some uh, an animal they want to uh, demonstrate for us? No, uh, get down, Danny. No. Danny, uh, let's let, let Grayson pick. Grayson, yeah. what's an animal? What's your favorite animal? Megalodon. Megalodon. What? Megalodon. Meg yeah. Oh my goodness. Is that, that's like a big shark, right? How does it swim? Show me, show me, Danny. Okay. Show me Grayson, sorry. Grayson, show me Grayson. Does it have a fin? Um, yes. So it has a fin and what noise does it make? Like the water 
rushing in over it. All right, let's get those Megalodon bellies on the mat. Get those fins up above your head, and let me hear your ocean waves. Ready, set, go. And time. All right, attention, sit. Yes, everybody, sir. level 10, attention, sit. Level 10, I got to see everybody, level 10. Asher, Mackenzie, Scott, level 10, attention, sit. Thank you. Danny Grayson, good job. We have time for one more. Who has a favorite animal that they want to let show? Who has a favorite animal? Oh, man, Ezra, what's your favorite animal? A dog. A dog? Can you show me how a dog runs? Oh man, like up on its feet? That's super fast. What noise does a dog make? Moo? Yeah? yeah? <laughs> Are you sure? Moo? That's a very... Oh. Do moo? dogs say moo? What noise does a dog make? Yeah. Rough, all right, up on your hands and feet. Rough like a dog, ready, set, go. All right, time. Attention, sit, yes sir. Yes sir. Bring it in, bring it in. I need everybody in close. Everybody in close, I wanna see everybody. Let me see you, let me see you. Here we go, here we go. All right guys, let me switch to my gallery view so I can see all of you and who remembers what we're talking about this week? Who, does anybody remember what our match chat was from Tuesday? Anybody remember? Hmm. Let's see. Who do you got, Coachy? Let's see. Who do we have? Um, Simone. What? Mr. Flynn. That is right. Good job, Simone. Everybody repeat after me. Everybody say, discipline. Discipline. Now, raise your hand if you know how I define discipline. So I'm not asking what your definition is. I'm asking if you know how professor says what discipline is. Raise your hand if you know how I say what discipline is. Anybody? Who can read professor's mind? Who knows how I? Callum. How do I define discipline, sir? Do what you have to do even if you don't want to. Are you sure? Yes, sir. 100%? Yes, sir. 1,000%? Yes, sir. Million percent? Yes, sir. And Callum, you got it right on the head. Everybody, repeat after me. Everybody say, discipline. Discipline. I do what I have to do. I do what I have to do. Even if I don't want to. Even if I don't want now, to. Now, raise your hand. Who has an example? of something that takes discipline. Who knows something they don't want to do, but that they have to do, so they have to use that discipline muscle in order to get it done. Who has something? Um, let's see. Ooh, Ava, what is something that takes discipline? Hey, do, do on my schoolwork? That definitely takes discipline. Man, you know what? There are some days when I wake up and I do not feel like doing my work at all. But do, do my teachers care if I don't care if I don't feel like doing my homework? No, sir. They, they want me to do it whether I want to do it or not. So if I have to do it, guess what? I got to get those discipline muscles out and I exercise my discipline muscle by doing what I have to do even if I don't want to. Okay, it doesn't take any discipline to eat dessert or to play video games or to hang out with my friends because I want to do those things. So that doesn't take discipline. Discipline is doing the stuff that I don't want to do. Make my bed, brush my teeth, wash the dishes, anything like that that I don't really want to do every day. I got to use my discipline muscle. That's how I get it done. I have time for one more. Who else has an example of something that takes discipline? Who else knows something that takes discipline? Gabriel, what takes discipline? Piano. Piano? You don't like playing the piano? Well, I do, but sometimes it's hard to get hold of the new song we want to play. Absolutely and right. So even if you maybe enjoy doing the thing, but there's a little certain part of, of the thing that we enjoy that is like kind of hard or challenging for us, it takes discipline for me to do the hard parts, even of the things that I enjoy doing, right? So 
if I just play piano and I only play the songs that I know how to play, that doesn't really take discipline. What takes discipline, sitting down, learning some new chords, learning how to play some new songs, that's what takes discipline. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. So I want you all to think about something that you don't necessarily like to do. You don't have to tell me, but just think about it. What's something that I don't really like to do, but that I have to do? Raise, uh, don't raise your hand. Just think about it. Okay. Everybody got it. Okay. Now, I want you to think about your discipline muscles. Matter of fact, let me see everybody's discipline muscles. Let me see those muscles up like that. Big muscles. Man, your discipline muscle can be the biggest muscle in your whole body, but you have to exercise it. So I want you to think about that thing you don't want to do. I want you to flex your discipline muscle and say, man, I'm going to do that thing that I have to do even if I don't want to. Let me see your muscles. Yeah, we're going to get it done. This whole week, we got our discipline muscle. Even Coach E's jumped in on it. That's right. I want everybody to use that discipline muscle at least three times this week. I want you to do three things that you have to do that you don't want to do. That's how we get that muscle strong. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. All right, time to One more question. Who's ready for jujitsu? Me, sir. That's right, everybody. Attention stance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Check it out, Tigers. We are going back over my single leg. Everybody say single leg. Single leg. Single leg is a takedown, and anytime I want to do my takedown, it's really important that I stand up super tall, tall and stiff like a statue when I pick my nose with both fingers, right? Yes, sir? No. No, sir. I got to get my grappling stand. I have my left foot forward, my right foot back, and this time, Coach Rue is going to switch, so she has her right foot forward. We call this a mirrored stance. Everybody say, mirrored stance. Mirrored stance. That's right, I have my near stance. Now, Coach Rue is going to grab my lapel. I do not want to let her grab my lapel. So I'm going to take both my hands, strip the grip. Now, I'm going to punch that hand down. I'm going to go step, step. I'm going to pick up that leg that's closest to me. Everybody say, pick up the leg. Pick up the leg. Now, I have one foot that's in front of Coach, and I have one foot that's behind her. I'm going to step the foot that's in front all the way over. So both my feet are behind Coach Rue's leg. I'm going to pick that leg up all the way up here, so my hand is on my chest like the Pledge of Allegiance, okay? I have my hand all the way up here. Now, I'm gonna reach my other hand around Coach's waist and grab like the belt right here. You see it? Good. Now, I'm gonna drop down to my left knee. Coach Ruth's gonna do a level 10 back break fall. Boom! I take her all the way down into the crocodile control or side control. She's gonna bridge in. She's gonna hip out. She's gonna put her feet on my hips. She's going to push away, and she's going to get up in pace. Awesome job. All right, check it out one more time. We'll do it from this angle this time so you guys can see a little bit different. Here we go. She has, we're in a mirror stance. My left foot is forward. Her right foot is forward. She has her collar grip. I'm going to go two on one. I'm going to strip the grip. I'm going to put the hand down. Step, step. Pick up the leg. I step over. Reset hand under. I have the Pledge of Allegiance. Left hand behind the uh, waist. Drop down to my left knee, spin her all the way down. She does a level 10 back break fall. Then I get in my crocodile control. Bridge in, hip out, feet on the hips, push away, up in base. Awesome job. All right, who thinks they can do it better than Professor? Everybody say, me, sir. Me, sir. Let me see you do it. I'm going to come through and watch. I want to see all those single legs. I want to see all those single legs. Let's go, let's go. You don't have a partner? Just pretend. Just do it with a shadow partner. Okay, Ezra? Go ahead and just do it. With, oh, no, you got Shalane. There we go. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Danny, you got a partner? Danny Driggers. No? Okay, I want you to shadow wrestle, okay? I want you to imagine your partner and do it just a little. Like, yep. Coach E's kind of showing you there too, right? Good. Drop our level. Lock our hands. Step up. Go ahead, Danny. I want to, I want to see you do it with a pretend partner. Good. All right. Who can do it better than Professor? Good job. Nice, Scarlett. Good fit in. Good, Simone. Yes, good work, girl. Hey, Simone, drop all the way down to that right knee so that you can take him down even faster, okay? Once you have that hand, uh, or his leg up under your hand, drop down to your knee and you'll drop him down even faster. Nice, Ezra. Good job. Oh, man. Let me see Ava do it one more time. Let me see Ava do it. Come on, Danny Grayson. Let's go. Let's go. Danny Grayson, let me see it. Let me see Grayson do it. Go, Ava. 
Good job. Nice, Danny Driggers. Good work, dude. Pick up just a single leg, Ava. Just one leg. One leg. Yeah. Now step on the other side. Step on the other side of her leg. So step both feet all the way so you're behind her. Step both your legs to the other side of her leg. To the left, Ava. That's okay. It's, yeah, like that, like that. Now pick up her leg from behind her. <laughs> yep, good. Now you're going to pull her backwards and she's going to do a back break fall. So pull her to your left. Yes. Good, good work. Good job, Andrea. All right, Tigers, time. Time, time, time. Bring it in. 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 Let me see everybody. Good job, guys. Check it out. I want to show one more little detail because this part is really important, okay? When I'm doing my single leg, Coach Roof is here. Look, if I pick up the leg and I step the other one over, Everybody see how I'm in front of Coach Roo? When I take Coach Roo down, what? I end up right in the crocodile, right in her car monster, and she can squish me because her legs are right around my leg. So I want to make sure that when I fit in on my takedown, so I strip the grip, boom, I pick the leg up. Look, I want to get behind her leg. See how I'm all the way behind her? She, I'm not going to end up in her guard monster if I get behind her. So I want to make sure I step behind her. Then when I drop her down, I'm all the way into crocodile control, not inside the guard monster. Yes, sir. Thumbs up if you understand. Thumbs up. We want to take them down all the way past the guard so that we're in side control, crocodile control when we get the take. Okay. Now, the last move that I want to show today is going to be my mount escape. Who Raise your hand. Who remembers which way we're escaping the mount this week? Anybody? Who remembers? Who remembers? Let's see, who does coach pick? Coach picks. Simone. Who do we got? Simone, what escape? Trap and roll. Trap and roll. Good job, Simone. Check it out. Everybody, eyes on who? You, sir. Here we go. Here we go. I'm on the bottom of the mat. Hold on one second, coach. When I'm on the bottom of the mat, do I lay as flat as I can like a starfish? I have my arms all the way out to the side my legs all the way flat. Is this how I want to be on the bottom of the mat? No, sir. I got my knees up high like mountains. I got my elbows in, hands up, protecting my chin, just like this. Now, Coach Ruby's going to sneak that knee all the way over. She's got that sneaky mouth, and she's got the sticky hand right here. So if I try to push and push, Coach Ruby is going to stay in the sneaky mouth. I can't get up. So what I have to do is I'm going to trap one of these arms. I'm going to take both my hands, wrap it around one of her arms, I'm going to hug, 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 nice and tight so she can't get that arm out. If I trap the arm on this side, I'm going to step my foot outside her foot so she can't move her arm or her leg on the same side. Now, I don't just roll over. I got to do a big bridge. I got to lift my hips up, and then I roll all the way over my shoulder so that I come all the way up on top. And the last thing, I want to sit up nice and tall. We say posture. Posture. Posture just means I sit up nice and tall like this. So when you come up, it's not nap time. Don't let him get squished. Sit up nice and tall so she can't squish you. Check it out one more time. I want you guys to see it from this angle. I'm laying flat on my back, knees up high like mountains. She sneaks that knee over. I trap the arm. I trap the leg. Big bridge. And then I roll, 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 roll all the way up on top. Even if she has a good guard on her clothes, I'm sitting up nice and tall. She can't squish me. I have good posture, okay? So if you have a training partner, I want you to start doing it. If you don't have a training partner, watch me. So if you have a training partner, let's go. Go, go, go. If you don't have a training partner, watch me. Looks like this. I'm laying on the bottom of the mat. I have my elbows in, hands up, protecting my chin. I'm going to track the arm, track the leg, big bridge, roll all the way up. Then I'm going to do a front roll all the way back down. And I'm going to go to the other side. Trap the arm, trap the leg, big bridge, roll all the way up. Do a front roll all the way back down. So I'm going to go front roll, mount escape. Front roll, mount escape. Who can do it better than me? Let's see. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I'm going to scroll through and watch. Get out of there, Ava. Don't let her squish you. Good. Oh, man. Sophia, don't let her roll you like that. You got to get back on top, girl. 
Now get out of there, Sophia. Good job. Coach Rue's doing it with you guys. Look, Coach Rue's killing it back here. Who can do it better than Coach Rue? Oh, man. Uh-oh, Danny, you got a training partner. Now you're in trouble, dude. Now you're in trouble. Awesome job, guys. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Awesome work. Good. Let's get out of there, Ezra. Don't let her, don't let her squish you like that. Big bridge. Trap the arm. Trap the leg. Big bridge. Nice job. Wow. Man, you guys are getting really, really good at this. This is awesome to see. I remember when a lot of you first started doing jujitsu, it did not look like this. You guys have gotten so much better. The reason is because you're all in, pra in class practicing every single day. I'd love to see that. Good work. Nice, Gabriel. Awesome work. Make sure you sit up with good posture at the end. Don't give it up right at the end. It gets squished. Once you get on top, sit up nice and tall. Good, good, good. Good work, guys. Good work. All right. Man, you guys, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Guess what? You guys are not going to believe this. I, I didn't even believe it. Guess what Coach Rue just told me? She told me that none of you can beat her at the fast feet. <laughs> Do you believe that? She said none of you. She said you guys are all like you're stuck in molasses. That's how slow you are. She said she was going to beat everybody today. And I said, you know what? I don't believe you. I believe that one of my Tigers can beat Coach Rue. Who thinks they can beat Coach Rue? Say no me, way. sir. No yes, way. Everybody, attention stands. Everybody up. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to watch. Coach Rue is pretty fast, but I think you guys are faster. When I say – when I say fast feet, we're going to run our feet, chop our hands. When I say sprawl, watch me. Hands down, hips down, back up to our feet, back up to fast feet. Okay? So it's four moves. Hands down, hips down, up to our feet, back up. Here we go. Here we go. Ready. Fast feet, go. Let's see who is faster than Coach Rue. Man, she's super fast. Sprawl. 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 Ooh, you guys are fast. I don't know if you're faster than Coach Roos. Sprawl. Hey, so Coach Esteban, I was thinking maybe uh, something we could do over the weekend would be sprawl. And then maybe we'd sprawl. And, you know, if we have time, maybe we'd sprawl, sprawl. And then, uh, you know, sprawl. Oh, for sure. Uh, what do yeah, you think, Coach? Totally do that. <laughs> awesome job. Man, I bet you guys are tired. Let me see everybody breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Smell the flowers. Out through your mouth. Blow out the birthday candles. Awesome job. Man, I want to see. I wanna, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick a couple. Hey, Professor. Yes, sir. You know what I'm really in the mood for, and it's been a long time. For anybody who's from Team Littleton, you know, we got to have a good – Good sit. Ooh, a, an invisible chair. An invisible chair. Let's see who has the best invisible chair. This is how it looks. We're going to squat down, and we're going to have a seat in a chair that doesn't exist. Let's see who has the best seat. Look, I'm not standing up like this, and I'm not all the way down like this. I got a good chair. My hands are off my knees. Let's see who has the best green chair. We call it a green chair like a green room. Let's see. Who has the best chair? Hands off your knees. Sit, sit, sit. Get down there. Get down there. Get down there. Who can hold it faster and longer than Coach Rue and Professor? Who has the best chair? What do you think, Coachy? Who has the best chair? Man, let's see. Here. Ezra's really pulling it out over there, man. Sophia. Wow, Danny and Grayson. Danny even has the hands up. I like that. Man, Danny looks like he's been working on this too. Man, count after me. Um, dois, dois, tres, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis, seis, sete, sete, oito, oito, nove, nove. Oh, hey, professor. By the way, I need to send you that email. Yeah, can you go ahead and make sure that I get that? It's very uh, important. Um, you know, and, and there was something else I was gonna ah dish. Please, attention stance, yes sir. Yes, sir. Awesome job, guys. Man, we tried to trick you there, huh? All right, everybody, level 10 attention stance. Bring it in. I want to make sure everybody, I can see everybody level 10, feet together, 
Hands by their side, back straight, eyes on the professor. <sighs> what a good class today. I really, really appreciate you guys being here on my Tuesday and Thursday class. I have a couple other classes that I want to make sure you guys know about. The first one, you just heard him on here. Coach E teaches a Monday and Wednesday morning class. It's not quite a jujitsu class like we do. It's more like to get yourself ready for the day, some stretching, some exercise, like kind of getting your body woken up, getting your mind woken up so that you can jump into school. So that's on Monday and Wednesday at 8 a.m. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. You can find that information on the eastontc.com slash schedules and then make your way over to the Littleton schedule. Cote is on there. Okay, so eastontc.com slash schedules slash Littleton. So maybe it's Littleton slash schedules. You have to navigate on the website. Second class, right after this, stick around with Coach Matt. He's doing his Muay Thai and his kickboxing class. These are awesome classes. If you've never taken a Muay Thai class with Coach Matt, man, check it out. They're so much fun. I would really encourage all of you to do it. You don't have to have it. You don't have to be an expert in Muay Thai. That's why you take the class, you're learning it. So you can start from zero and everybody has a first day. So if you want to stick around, take Coach Matt's class. The last one, well, wow, there's two more. On Monday, Wednesday, Friday at five o'clock, we have Coach Jamin that's been teaching. So I teach Tuesday, Thursday. Coach Jamin teaches Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, five o'clock, check out Coach Jamin's class. The last one, my next class, this Saturday, 9 a.m. And I want you to bring a family member. Mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, sister, cousin, bring somebody, because guess what? I'm going to teach you how to squish them. Coach Drew is getting really, really tough with the squish game, because I've been squishing her every single class. So bring, bring a family member this Saturday, 9 a.m., yes, sir? Yes, sir. Last thing, repeat after me, Tigers. Everybody say, I. I. I'm a warrior, sir. I'm a warrior, sir. And I can do. And I can do. Whatever. Whatever. I put my mind to. I put my mind to. Discipline. Discipline. I do what I have to do. I do what I have to do. Even if I don't want to. Even if I don't want to. That's right, Tigers. Use that discipline muscle every single day to the stuff you don't want to do. All right, Tigers. When I say thank you, class, you say thank you, professor, coach, and partners. Level 10 bow. I'll see you on Saturday. Ready? Thank you, class. Thank you, professor, coach, and partners. Yeah, bring it in. Come get some high fives. Come get some high fives. Mackenzie and uh, Scarlett, please. Mackenzie and Scarlett. When I am trying to close.